Welcome back to the show. It's time for our main event, Boss Rudin versus Guy Mesger. Now, Josh, Guy Mesger, his record's 4-2-1, and one, but his losses are against Suzuki and Funaki. Mm -hmm. And uh, how prepared do you think he is for another huge guy in the sport, Boss Rudin? Guy Mesger is a top quality athlete and a very, very uh, decorated mixed martial artist. And, and this match between Mesger and Rudin, uh, both of them are familiar with the submission game, of course, but I think it's a... Uh, uh, really, their strengths lie in striking mainly. So uh, it's going to be who's going to be able to initiate the striking and actually control the striking. I think that that really tells the tale of this fight. All right, let's see how well Mesger does dealing with Rutten. Guy Mesger versus Boss Rutten. Boss Rutten coming into the ring. Uh, like you said, Josh, before, he hasn't lost in a while. Seven straight wins. His last loss was in March of 1995. This fight taking place in March of 1996. So he's gone almost a year without losing. That's got to have a huge boost of confidence to someone like Boss. But at the same time, a challenge like that, when your guy Mesger makes you think, hey, I want to be the one that takes this guy down. Boss does have seven straight wins, but I'm not sure all seven of those wins were against the guys of the caliber of a guy Mesger. Now, Boss Rudin, also an ex-bouncer, you might remember him from the UFC, which he uh, joined in order to try to gain notoriety to become an actor in Hollywood. And actually gaining the UFC heavyweight title. In the process. And uh, just another quick style question for you, Josh. Uh, guy's ponytail. Are you a fan of that? Uh, I am not a fan of the ponytail. Uh, Guy Mesger has long since uh, retired the ponytail, but I can't say too much about it as my current trainer, Eric Paulson, was <laughs> some vicious palm strikes from Boss Rudin there. Nice takedown by Mesger. Uh, my, my current trainer, Eric Paulson, also happened to rock the ponytail for quite some time, and uh, it even was a detriment to him in a fight where a guy happened to have a death grip on Eric's hair oh. while he's hitting him. Uh, Luckily, in Pancras, no one's allowed to grab the hair. Otherwise, I think Mesger might have changed his, uh, his quaff, his, uh, his quaff uh, a long time ago. Now, uh, we just saw the R's on Boss Rudin's hands. Uh, we've said this before in previous shows. Those R's uh, mean relax. He wants to remind himself not to exasperate, uh, use up all his energy too early in the fight. Right. Grappling can be an incredibly tiring uh, endeavor, especially if it's not what something that you are, you are used to. Like, Boss comes from a striking background, so... I would expect to hear that Boss says that grappling is more tiring for him than, than uh, kickboxing, whereas a lot of uh, grapplers usually will say just the opposite, that striking and working kickboxing on the feet is more tiring for them. Back on the feet is Mesger and Rutan. I think the edge in power certainly has to go to Rutan, but uh, Mesger, known for having very uh, interesting setups and uh, nice straight right hand Back by Mesger. Back up just for a second. But now Boss coming in, pushes Mesger towards the ropes as Mesger clinches. Big, big strike from Boss. A nice big lead left hook. Did his damage, but Mesger getting the body lock and the takedown. Although, unfortunately... A little too close to the ropes. Yeah, Josh. he's not able to really utilize it. Now, earlier on in uh, Boss's Pancras career, taking him down to the mat was a smart idea, but he has improved his ground game immensely. Right, and being... He is incredibly strong, Boss Rutten, so even when he gets a hold of something, he's likely to break it off even if he's not executing it entirely perfect at this moment. Nice takedown, nice body lock by Guy Mesger, lands him in the mount against Rutten. As we move along in the fight. Mesger still working the top position, had side control, but unfortunately ending uh, too close to the ropes and getting put back up on their feet. Both fighters in great physical shape, so if this fight does go the distance, they should have enough left to continue, especially Boss with those R in his hands telling him to relax. And uh, Mesger has had some trouble in pride uh, keeping his, uh, his wind up going throughout the fight, but uh, right here at this pace, I believe Mesger has been doing fairly well at keeping the fight on the mat, so uh, I expect him to have conserved some energy at this point. And Mesger throwing some of those trademark knees into the body of Boss Rudin. Getting his back taken, standing to roll into the knee bar against Boss Rudin. It could be a finish here. Nice setup by Mesger. Rudin showing that experience. And Rudin is near the rope, so uh, if he is in trouble, he can grab it and be deducted a point. Putting it behind the armpit is Mesger there. A very powerful position to attack the knee bar. Boss looking for the toehold. 
this show, this is a very high level grappling exhibition right here, and it really shows their experience and uh, their growth on the ground as Pankers fighters. And Boss, looks like he has that angle of Mesger. Mesger, he might be feeling this tomorrow morning too, Josh. Having to give up the uh, knee bar was Mesger and Boss going into the Achilles lock. Mesger defending, relaxing, staying calm, looking for an Achilles lock of his own. As both fighters are nearing the ropes again, and the referees do have a propensity to break up these fighters. And now Mesger gets out and the ref breaks it. The two will restart in the center of the ring. That's got to be a bit disappointing for Mesger to be so close to the submission and yet not being able to even get the rope escape. So positioning uh, in the mat, definitely very important in Pancras. Lead off with a few shote palm strikes. Into the body lock is Mesger looking for the takedown again. And Boss not allowing that takedown, very near the ropes, but he does get taken down, has Mesger in the half guard. As we move along in the fight, now Boss Rudin is mounted. Great performance by Mesger so far. Uh, Boss is, has done a great job of landing some big strikes on the feet and avoiding the submission, but uh, Mesger really, really proving his worth and proving his ability here against uh, one of the most dominant fighters in Pancras. Mesger throwing some strikes, backing Boss off. Uh, Boss, not at 100% energy-wise, looks like he's stumbling a little bit out there. Yeah, both of these guys uh, have to be feeling the effects of a long, hard match. Knee landed by Boss, a follow-up by Mesger, and another rolling knee bar attack by Mesger. Getting position on the ankle, looking for the toe hold, I think, is Mesger. And Boss rolling around, seems to be trying to get a hold of Mesger's leg as well. Look, locking up an Achilles, uh, Achilles lock is Boss. In good position right now is Boss Rutten on Mesger's ankle. And uh, if you're Boss Rutten, now might not be the time to relax. Mesger in a vulnerable position. Uh, inside uh, uh, reverse toe hold attack by Boss. Very dangerous on the knee. And Mesger's got to be trying to, he's got to try to work his way out of this thing, Josh. Right, uh, looking to do a modified heel hook as at this point in Pancras' history with a, a rash of injuries from the heel hook, uh, they have currently banned it. Nice inside toe hold by Boss Rutten, a reverse toe hold, very similar to the heel hook. And Mesger, uh, he seems like he tapped out even after Rutten uh, let go of him, perhaps in too much pain to continue. And Boss Rutten... Just a very brutal, a brutal move. A great victory by Rob Boss Rutten, as we see the Rutten jump, which he does after uh, every fight that he wins. He does it to all four corners, and uh, he's been doing a lot of that lately, Josh. Yeah, I, I agree, and uh, I think uh, Mesger, through fatigue and also through just uh, probably feeling very strong about his performance in the fight, just tried to hold on and didn't really react to, the, to that uh, reverse toe hold as soon as possible, that steering wheel, as I like to call it. and. Uh, paying the price and, and probably incurring some damage to his knee from uh, such a, uh, a vicious leg lock on behalf of uh, Boss Rudin. So Boss Rudin keeps his win streak alive. He's at eight straight wins, Josh. Now, in a press conference with some reporters, Boss said he wouldn't lose again for a, an entire year. And so far, Boss Radamus, his prediction, playing true. <laughs> Can you do that one more time? <laughs> all right, those are all the fights we have for today. But before we go, let's check out our event highlight. And our highlight comes from the Masakatsu Funaki match. What a beautiful setup into the knee bar. He just doesn't get any more picture perfect than that. In fact, as far as I'm concerned, uh, this could be cut up, edited, and put on a technique video on a how-to. Uh, it, and if it's not there, I'm sure it's on YouTube. <laughs> uh, but before we go, Josh, uh, if you do want that ponytail, I'm sure our makeup artist can do a little something for you. Yeah, get a little extension on it, maybe the loop in. All right, you'll have to tune in next week to see if Josh Barnett decides to go for the ponytail. I'm your host, Rob Wood. Yeah, 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 yeah.